Hey, what's going on guys? I want to review this uh, awesome pipe lighter from Zycar. Now that's how I'm pronouncing it. You can choose to pronounce it any way you want. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there's the packaging for it. I put it uh, back in the original package and everything just so you guys can see exactly how you get it. The best thing that happened to cigars since fire. Zycar. Um, I believe this company is well known for their cutters. I've seen their cigar cutters for many, many years. Um, way before I even you know got into pipes or anything like that. But anyway, here's the packaging. You have this outer sleeve. There's their contact information. So it is an American company, which is awesome. Anyway, all right, so we got our outer sleeve there. Then we have our nice little storage box, or if you want to give this as a gift or something, nice sturdy cardboard box, but I can care less about the box. <laughs> Just showing you so you know. A little piece of foam to protect it. All right, so here's the lighter. Put this aside just for a second and see what we got hiding underneath this foam. All right. So, we got a little uh, instruction manual and warranty information. This is what I was talking about. Their, their cutters have been around for many, many years. And I assume there are lighters as well, but I haven't seen their lighters until recently. Now, let's see what we got in here. Um, this is pretty cool. I've seen this before. This is kind of gaining popularity, I guess. I don't personally use this, but these are uh, picture codes. I don't know the exact name for them, but it's basically even an iPhone or something. You could download an, app, download an application where you take a picture of this and this code links you directly to a video. All right, so it's pretty neat. I mean, they're up with the new technology. So here's a video on how to properly cut your cigar. And basically, if you have the right application for your cell phone, you just take a picture of that or whatever you do, and you, you point your phone at it, and automatically just goes right to the video. Pretty wicked. But anyway, this also looks like a mini catalog. Nope, I'm wrong, it's not. It's just an advertisement for something else. But look, we got this long <laughs> paperwork here, full of information, um, and it looks like it's in a couple different languages as well. By the way, this has a lifetime warranty on it. Let's read where the warranty is, if I can find it. Instructions, information on uh, ignition, filling, da, 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 suggestions. Okay, so this is like a general pamphlet that comes with all their products, because it also shows how to use their cutters. But let's find that warranty, where are you? No, oh, that's the Spanish side. I'm not Spanish, so let's see. Where are you? Where are you? I'm missing you. <laughs> uh, da, 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 prevent scratches. Hand it with care. Cleaning your lighter. Okay. I can't find it. Oh. This is interesting. Free sheath offer. Simply fill in your contact information, blah, blah, blah. Oh. That's cool, you can get a free sheath. <sighs> you know what? It doesn't look like it's on here. <laughs> oh, guaranteed, all right. We are proud to offer our lifetime warranty on all Zycar products, so if you feel that if it fails to live up to our promise of fit, finish, and function, simply return it to us and we will cheerfully repair or replace your product within two weeks under our 100% total satisfaction guaranteed. That's awesome. All right, so good, uh, good warranty, American company. What else can you really ask for, right? Okay, I'll fold that up later. Um, yeah, so we got all kinds of box going on here. All right, so we don't need the uh, the box or anything. Let's take a look at the actual lighter. All right, now this one is the silver model. If you got a colored version, you see how there's three panels here. They're textured. These panels, um, it does add quite a bit of grip to the lighter, but this is the portion that would be colored. In other words, they're all silver except for these three panels. The silver version has silver, obviously, and then if it was blue, the blue would be in there, there, and there, and of course if it's black, 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 and black. Okay, but they all have this silver, everything else. It's just those grip panels will be colored differently if you choose to get one of the colored ones. Now, as far as uh, function on this, it's very simple. It's a simple design. Pop the top there and spin this wheel on the side. Okay, when you spin this wheel, it creates a spark, lights the fluid. How this works is the fluid is coming out of that little um, little tube right there. In fact, you see that little black hole? That's where the fluid comes out. It is a butane lighter. 
All right, so when you lift this lid, if you look at that tube, the tube lifts up, okay? By lifting up, it opens up the valve, which lets the fluid come out, all right? And then you just spark it and the lights. All right, pretty simple concept. Now, how this sparks, see a little spark wheel in there? There's a flint behind it, and the spark wheel is attached to this larger wheel for convenience and for comfort. So you don't have to spark the little tiny one, you just spark the one underneath, okay, the silver one. All right, so it's real easy to get to and use. Now there is a screw on top here that holds this assembly together. If you would, you can adjust that screw to adjust the tension on this wheel. So it's either harder to push or looser to push. So it may be easier for you to, uh, to light the lighter if for some reason when you get it, um, it's too stiff or you don't like the, you know, the tension that's on it, you can adjust that with that screw. Keep in mind if you let that screw out too loose that it could fall apart though. Okay, so I have a nice compromise where it's not too hard to strike but it's still tight enough the whole assembly, so it's not gonna fall apart. All right, now as you saw, the, um, the, the, screw, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the striking wheel is right there, the flint is behind it. So this tube that runs across here is our flint tube, okay? There's a little knob on the end, so you would unscrew that completely to access the, uh, the spring and the flint on the inside. So changing flints on this is very simple. Just like I said, unscrew the back there, very similar to a Zippo. Take the spring out, pop your new uh, flint in there, and you're ready to go. On the bottom here, we have the uh, adjustment uh, screw right there to raise or lower the flame. Then we have a body screw, which basically if you want to take the insert out of the case here to look at it for perhaps trying to fix it on your own, which is not necessary, but if you happen to like to tinker with things, then you can certainly take it apart easily. And then there's our filling area, okay? Now, what's fascinating with this one is on the bottom here, you see the markings I11. And this is just an assumption. I don't know this to be fact, but I'm assuming that they're copying the Zippo um, dating marks, okay? Using I for the month and then 11 for 2011. All right, just my assumption. There's no fact behind that. It's just what I think it is. It may or may not be the truth. Uh, but anyway, this is a pipe lighter. The design is meant for lighting pipes. Okay, I have a pipe, for example, here. And you can see the flame does uh, project out of the side of the lighter. It's, it's specifically pointed or angled to be used in a pipe. All right, so very simple to use. And of course, if I were you know, drawing this pipe, the flame would go right into the bowl and light my tobacco, okay? Be very simple. What's also really cool about this is as a, uh, a built-in pipe tool, which is on the bottom here. Now, my one concern when I first got this was, you know, is this gonna get loose and fall out? And so far it's been fine. I've pulled this out and put it back in probably 30 or 40 times now, and it's just as tight as when I first tried it. All right, so this little piece just sits there on the bottom. Just kind of use a fingernail or something to pull it out. And once you get to about this far out, there's a little bit of tension on it. Now this is pretty sturdy here, okay? So this is your tamper on the bottom. If you smoke a pipe, uh, as you're smoking, you want to tamp down the tobacco. And maybe I'll explain this in another video as to why. But basically, there's your tamper. You can use it connected to the lighter if you want, or the whole piece pops completely out if you want to just use the tamper like so. Now, on the uh, opposite side of the tamper, you have basically your scraper and aerator in the same tool, okay? Um, your scraper, obviously, to scrape the, uh, the remaining tobacco, burnt tobacco, out of your bowl to clean it, or to aerate it while you have a, a packed bowl. If you packed it too tight or something, you can use the tool to, um, you know, section some uh, space out there to let some more oxygen in. So very functional and it does fit in here very nicely. Um, and it, it kind of snaps in towards the bottom. It's not a real big snap, but it's, it feels very secure. All right, it's not gonna fall out. Uh, I'll do an update if this ever gets really loose to the point where it's just falling out on its own. I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, it seems very tight and very functional. Um, it, it's been a fantastic lighter. It works exactly how it's supposed to work. It's a great design. I think it's pretty classy looking. Um, now the price on this is $49.99 from where I got it, which was um, buylighters.com. I'll put the link in the description box. Now 50 bucks. Now you might say, well, that's kind of expensive. Well, this exact same design from Dunhill, which is a very well-known company for lighters, cigars, or excuse me, uh, lighters, um, uh, pipe tobacco, pipes, one of the big boys, okay? Definitely a very um, fancy, high-end, high-quality company. Now, their version of this lighter sells for about three to $400. All 
Okay, and I've seen people who own both. I've seen videos on it, and I've, I've read um, forums on this, and they say there is a distinct difference, okay? The quality on a 300 milliliter really is a little bit better. However, for $50, you get that same look, the same feel, the same function, okay? And you still get a lifetime warranty with this, all right? So $50 really isn't that much uh, on the whole grand scheme of things, okay? But not everyone's gonna be into spending $50 on a lighter. If you're okay and, and happy with your 99 cent BIC, that's totally cool. But if you wanna you know, bring it up to scale a little bit, or if you're specifically looking for a pipe lighter, of course this lighter can be used to light anything you want, but it is designed um, to light pipes. Okay, it does have an advantage, and specifically having the tool on the bottom, as well as the angle on the flame, it does uh, excel at its purpose. So it makes a great companion for any pipe smoker. It's a fantastic lighter. I really, really like it. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, it's just, I'm a big fan of this. I'd like to eventually try the Dunhill, but when I say eventually, I may mean, you know, 10, 15 years from now. Because <laughs> if I have three or $400 in my pocket to blow on whatever I want, I got really cool knives. I have guns out there for three or 400 bucks. So picking a lighter is definitely not top priority. But if I ever got a chance to have one, I'd certainly love to. Um, and of course, if you happen to own the, Dun the Dunhill version of this, uh, this pipe lighter design, please, by all means, post a video response and let me know your thoughts and everything. Because I'd like to you know, learn more about it. But anyway, uh, the Zycar pipe lighter is a, a fantastic lighter for all, all kinds of uh, purposes. But specifically, it, it's a perfect pipe lighter, in my opinion. And again, we'll go back to the debate on should I use a lighter or matches for for a pipe. A lot of people, the purists, will say that you only should use matches. However, even though this is a butane lighter, it has a soft flame. It doesn't have one of those jet flames, so it will be perfectly suitable for pipe smoking. Okay, well, you will not get a flavor change from the butane uh, and will not burn overly hot or scorch your pipe um, because it does have the soft flame. So, very, very cool. Really like it, just a big fan. So that's all, I wanted to do a review on it for anyone interested in lighters. So thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.